on our islands. We know beauty carefully because we see it vanishing and fiercely because we know whose greed it is that ravages the face, the body of the land this we know as home. How young the body of our land is. How enduring despite storms and typhoons. Here the body becomes islets, becomes atolls that are either growing or shrinking. We now measure the arm of an islet with a tip while we mutter, mm, and yes, this will do, this will survive the coming tides. It will have to. We mark and highlight studies and papers that discuss the length of our island's demise. Because we've turned our backs on our ancient guardians, earth, air, fire, water, they turned their backs on us as they begin to heal our mother. We walk in the grey haze of money puffed in our faces by the few present in everything, obscuring the paths that we should take out of this crumbling world. The ocean laughs and asks, is it the world crumbling or is it we, amorphous and lacking definition? Why can't we protect you? Breadfruit trees that have migrated, the type of coconut our uncles say no longer grows. We shelter and cut and eat from your fruit. You protect us, so why can't we protect you? Do not forgive us. Whales, turtles, dolphins, polyps who create gardens of coral, until we have learned respect or gratitude for your mysterious presence. Gratitude for how much we don't know, how much we can't manage. Do not forgive us, seagulls, pelicans, turns, till we have licked away with our own tongues the oil slicks from your stuck feathers and your beaks and the brilliant eyes. Do not believe us, our children, until the oil stays sleeping in the ground. Do not forgive us, our grandchildren until our words and deeds can break this global prison of profit we are locked into, can remove the rags and begging bowls of global poverty and replace them with the mother's riches, the common wealth which has been violently stolen by the few. Do not believe us, our great-grandchildren, until vulnerable words like homelessness and power-raving words like military aircraft are incomprehensible, are archaic terms that you have to research for you to know their meaning. Do not believe, do not forgive us until the carbon particles in the air all round you have transformed into twinkling white motes and shafts of sunlight, bright rose light and sunset miracles, flying fishes leaping across galaxies, a universe darting across reef flats. Our mother will heal, will be well, with us or without us. But what mother wants to heal and watch her children perishing? Do not repair this broken world, she says. It should not have been made. Make a new one, a world beyond the one that has been made so far. Make it. Four generations tall, four generations wide. Let us heal together. <laughs>